September 19th, 2022. We're in uh, Citrus County, Florida. If you've looked at my videos before, you know I've gone through a couple of major projects. And uh, seeing as it's September, I don't think I've ever taken a video of the property this time of year. I just do a little walkabout. Um, one of the one of the things I did, or we did, was remove a bunch of pine trees to let the uh, oak tree over there flourish, which we'll get another look at. A couple of years ago, we put in uh, this curbing, which defined, defined all the beds. Got two large magnolia trees here in the corners, which I've kind of trimmed out a little bit. The azaleas are starting to blossom. Still trying to get good grass, so uh, I use Lesco products, and one of the things they sell is a weed killer that doesn't harm the, the grass, so there's temporary uh, spots right here that are kind of brownish. And that's fine. So in the front here, this is all river rock with a uh, 25-year weed barrier underneath, which has held up really well. Flax lilies are pretty much at their peak right now. They look great. Boxwoods all cleaned up. Holly, holly tree here. Holly tree here. Four hollies in the middle. Weeping yopon on this corner and a weeping yopon on that corner and a magnolia tree that we planted I think five or six years ago which is uh, almost quadrupled in size doing well these are Indian hawthorns which are happy they're doing well and uh, my, my little experiment right here with five Carolina sapphire cypress trees is it's working out great. These have tripled in size since December. They're probably about three feet high now, a little bit better than three feet. Got five in this corner and just one in the back. But eventually these are going to be roughly 12 feet by 12 feet or 14 feet by 14 feet somewhere in that area to give a nice little sort of a little barrier not barrier but kind of a showpiece over there is my topiary that i'm kind of playing with what's unique about that is it's a live oak tree and that's uh, another holly tree, which is doing fine. So this is the time of year where on the hollies, we start to get the berries. And the birds just love the berries. So we're doing that. It's kind of an over overcast morning here, but the uh, we've been fortunate. We haven't had any tropical storms this year yet so that's good on the right hand side of the carport uh, we took out actually both sides of the carport we took out about a hundred uh, smaller turkey oak trees and live oak trees one of the main reasons was to give this uh, give this oak uh, some sunlight and some breathing room and it's doing really well it's filling out as as I'd hoped it's not a, it's not a show tree by any means but it's uh, it's one happy tree so that's cool and then we got that that large pine tree in, behind it that you can see from the from the side of the yard
take a walk in the back here. The camellia trees are starting to, or bushes, shrubs, are starting to create blossoms. So they're, they're going to be flowering uh, pretty soon. Got a few ligustrum in the back here. More grasses. More flax lilies. This is a tea olive, which has a Wonderful, wonderful bouquet. No flowers yet, but when it does, it's really, really nice. Uh, and this is a one of the projects that I had worked on from December uh, to May. I think the coolest thing is my triumph with this uh, with this potted penta. This is in a pot, and when it started, it was uh, maybe four inches by four inches. Now it's four feet by four feet. The bees absolutely love it. The butterflies love it. So we have a lot of bumblebees on it now. Don't want to disturb them, but very pretty flower. It's really cool how it's, uh, how it's grown so well. And bees and butterflies love it. And it's still blossoming. So that's kind of neat. Um, here's the camellia, uh, which a lot of a lot of buds. So this is going to be flowering big time fairly soon. A couple more pentas that just you can't kill these guys. You know when they get tired, uh, you just pinch them and they keep flowering. They've they've flowered for months and months now. It's really cool. Really cool. Very hardy, hardy plant. Highly recommended. The only time my thumb is green is when I'm painting green. But this is a plant that I saved. I have a little hospital here. If one's not doing well, I'll stick it over here. And this is doing well. And this little pine tree is doing well. And these are red-tipped fotilia that I've shown people before, but right now they're in blossom, so to speak. When they when they sprout, which these are sprouting right now, the uh, the leaves, the top leaves that are just the new ones, are pretty red, like a dark ruby red. So that's kind of cool. And then uh, as it grows, they they turn into green leaves until the next season. I think twice a year, maybe be my guess but the next time they grow more more leaves thus the name red tipped fotinia and this is a viburnum i got a bunch of viburnum in the front and These, these palms are doing well. Uh, the, this palm grove is doing well. Getting close now to having chimney of fires because it's getting cooler. No need in having a fire when it's 80 degrees out at night, so. But this is a fire pit that I built. This fountain is not a fountain, it's a planter now. Because there's no electricity. Um, this myrtle oak tree was pruned by arborists. And uh, it's done super well. In just a few short months it's grown, oh gosh eight feet and uh, as as hoped the uh, stump is getting or the trunk is getting bigger in diameter so this is a very healthy tree um, I'm gonna wait about six months to uh, prune it again and next time we prune it we're gonna remove one two three 
these lower branches, so it's going to it's going to change the look. Um, we've got exterior lighting that we put in, which has worked out great. So at night, things are lit up. And I could almost uh, kind of wait here for some birds because they usually come, but they're being shy right now. Up oh. here we go. It's funny, the ones that have the most courage are the smaller ones. Here we go. I just put some fresh seed on that little platform so they really dig that. Most of the time it's uh, sunflower seeds with suet as well. We have tons and tons of bird activity now which is really cool because we had nothing before. So this was the project where we cleaned it out and called, this is called the bird room. I got 60 yards of uh, oak wood chips here that I received from my tree company JLH who is a Outstanding tree company. Here's another Carolina sapphire cypress tree. This is the one that's done the best. It's probably four and a half feet tall. Got a nice sundial here. It's a cloudy day, so you can't see that. A little swing here. This is a live oak grove. Uh, very pretty. Really nice lit up at night. And this is my uh, yard waste pit, so to speak. Just did it, just put more stuff there because I did all the shrubs and trees and stuff. So it's coming out good. It'll collapse and down into almost nothing. Make a little hill, rake it out. This was a funny story. I overwatered. I transplanted this live oak tree and I made the mistake of overwatering it and it, it showed no signs of growth. It, shown, it, sh it just showed that it was dead and I decided to leave it and lo and behold they are resilient puppies so it's, uh, it's starting to grow again which is really cool. It's about seven and a half feet tall and uh, it's doing pretty good. So the more leaves, the better, help it grow. And that'll give me one live oak here, one live oak there where the birds like to sit between chewing seeds and another live oak over there, which is a good 30 feet tall now. And again, the birds love to kind of hang out there um, and then come down to get their bird seed, which is pretty cool. So we did have a family of bluebirds and I'm waiting, I thought I saw a glimpse of a couple of bluebirds recently so I'm waiting for them to come back and clean it out and uh, they're, it's ready to go for hopefully, hopefully another group of, of birds. So that's it, we always have a breeze here which is cool, we're, as the crow flies we're maybe 15-20 miles from the gulf. But we're in a hilly area, which is rare for Florida. Uh, we're actually above 100 feet sea level. And I think the highest spot in Florida is like 297 feet. And that's, that's about 10 miles away. So that's pretty cool. So over here we've got, looks like a cardinal. We have so many cardinals, which is good luck. Just very carefully gonna whoop. so when you get to be uh, in your 70s this is kind of like what you do I mean I work out six days a week but I also really enjoy the birds and butterflies and bees and all that kind of stuff it's kind of cool very blessed to have this uh, spot okay so that's it 
for now, the September tour, uh, kind of a still continued to be work in process with some ideas that I have, but uh, pretty much in good shape now. And thank you again for looking. Uh, please hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, trying to get to that magic number of a thousand subscribers. And again, have a great day. Thank you.